Well, this week, local educator and civil rights pioneer will be honored in Washington, D.C. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune is the founder of Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach. Her work ensured hundreds of African Americans would be educated in Florida. She also served as an advisor to several U.S. presidents. Well, now a statue of her will be placed in the nation's capital to represent our state. Yeah, she is the first African-American woman to be honored in this way. News 6's Carolina Cardona has more on this monumental moment. Overall, it's very significant, just especially for our culture um, and for the BCUs, HBCUs all across the country. I think, I think it's finally good because it's going to put us on the map. Tristan Benson, a freshman student at Bethune-Cookman University, is proud of the upcoming unveiling of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune's marble statue at the nation's capital. I think it's very significant just for the fact that you know, she's the first black lady to ever find a found a university and it's, it's showing around the world and it's kind of showing that like our community is a great community no matter what. In 1904, Bethune founded an all-girl boarding school. Eventually it became a college and merged with the all-male Cookman Institute to form Bethune Cookman College in Daytona Beach. She later served as an advisor to President Franklin Roosevelt. The daughter of former slaves, Dr. Bethune became one of the most important black educators, civil and women's rights leaders of the 20th century. Now, after state and federal approvals and nearly $1 million in fundraising efforts, her likeness will replace a statue of Confederate General Edmund Kirby. At least now, people see that all her efforts that she made in trying to promote women, trying to promote mothers, trying to promote the African-American community in general to get an education, to be entrepreneurs, start your own businesses. Dr. Bethune, who died in 1955, will be the first black person to represent a state in the collection. This means so much to the African-American community because this is a place that was built by slaves. Definitely so happy and thrilled for her to be honored the way that she should have been honored years ago. Karshonda Wright is the cultural coordinator for the Harry T. Moore and Harriet V. Moore Memorial Park. I'm so grateful that she was able to do what she did so that we have this unveiling. And I'm glad that we now recognize women and especially a black woman who looks like me. All of this has come full circle and I'm glad that they really recognize her as being the pioneer that she is. And well, it's hard to capture somebody's mm. essence in a statue. But oh, my it seems gosh. Like they did a pretty it, good job. I, I'm so excited for this to happen, and so many people will be watching. Yeah. Well, the unveiling takes place 11 a.m. Wednesday in Washington, D.C. BCU students and alumni will hold a watch party for the event.